I'm wondering if someone has difficulty receiving their security deposit back from blah blah blah. I had an absolute hard, horrible experience, moved out after only six months. It's now been three months since I left and I still haven't received my security deposit. Yeah, because you broke your lease. You can't just leave. <laughs> you're in a, you're in a, I'm sorry to say. You, you can't just like leave. You, you signed a contract with someone else. You put down a security deposit, essentially binding you to that contract. That's why you can't just leave. You can't just like pick up and leave. So two things. Number one is if you had a horrible experience, you can either take them to court, which I do not recommend at all, because you go to landlord tenant court, and now it's on your record and no one's gonna rent you an apartment in the future. That's a fact, by the way. Keep that in mind. Number two is, if you had a horrible experience, don't take them to court, which you can take them to court, but don't take them to court. You want to actually go to them and say, I have a hor I literally just got an email from someone I haven't talked to in two years, and he came to me and said, I'm breaking my lease, I'm having a horrible experience, da da da, it's a different building than this. And he's like, I have pictures, and I have no idea the situation. We haven't grabbed the phone call, but he said, they're coming to appraise the home because they know they gave him a horrible experience and he's been there for so many years that he's doing it the right way he's going to the management company you have to and i don't know you haven't given enough details but you have to go through them to potentially actually go through the procedure of getting your security deposit back you can't just leave a home and expect to get it back number one is yeah they're legally entitled to your security deposit you just left and actually, they're legally entitled to go after you for the remaining six months that you signed your lease for. If it was for six months or two years, whatever, whatever amount, they're legally allowed to go after that rent and bring you to court, which you, as I mentioned, do not want to go to court. Uh, yeah, you're probably not going to get it back because you just left. And the management uh, company is entitled to it, and they're entitled to the rent that you just didn't end up paying. So... If you want to learn more about questions and honesty, shoot me an email, charles at botanston.com. Thank you for watching another Q&A Monday. I am Charles Botanston from Botanston Properties International. You can do one of three things right now. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which has other Q&A Mondays, along with property video walkthroughs of listings that we represent. You can follow us on Instagram, which is our favorite social media network, where we have professional photography of buildings, along with the history of those buildings of New York City, along with listings we represent. Number three, which is go to Botanston.com and search for all available New York City condos, co-ops, and commercial properties. Talk to you guys soon.